I'm going to be showing you how to become one of the best catfishers on Discord to the point where they won't even suspect a thing and ask you to verify. Well, most of the time. Oh, what's that in the distance? Do I see a promotion? Before we get into the video, we have a goal on this channel to hit 1,000 subscribers and join the YouTube Partner Program because once we do that, we're going to start doing daily Nitro giveaways with the revenue made off this channel. So if you can be so kind and subscribe right now, that would be great. Alright, so since you read the title and clicked on this video, you already know that I'm going to be providing 5 tips to become the ultimate catfish. Now, I just want to say that these tips aren't in any particular order. They're just thrown into the best way I see fit. So off to the first one. I know I say this a lot to the people who message me asking how to create a catfishing profile. And it's really hard to explain it. So that's why I'm just going to be showing you. So here's an alt that I made. And as you can see, it's set up, but not set up for catfishing. I tried to make this look like an account that someone would actually use before catfishing. So the first two things are profile picture and name. So I'm just going to edit my name. I already had a predetermined name. <laughs> Look at all my alts. I already had a predetermined name, Coco, with a little tilde thing. I think that's called. <laughs> and then for the profile picture, uh, I just search on Pinterest. Um, this is one that I'm going to use. Now, as you can see, my name and profile picture is set. Now onto the About Me section. This is relatively new to Discord, so not many are using it. But for this, we'll just go with uh, she, her, 15. Do, this, do these dashes. And haha, me go burr. As you can see on the side, it kind of just shows what your profile will look like. Now, this is pretty generic and bland still. So what I'm going to do, I already got this pre-made here, but I'm just going to paste this in here. As you can see now, this is my profile. It's looking pretty legit. Lastly, we have to do connections. So few actually do this that it's not even funny. I don't know how they believe like they can even bait for Nitro without doing this. But please, 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 if you want to do this right, you have to make sure you have a few profile connections. For this, I'm just going to connect uh, an alt YouTube and then alt Spotify. It's really not that hard and it really does legitify, if that's even a word, your profile. So now if I click X out of here, so now if you click on my profile, I'm on my main account by the way, so this is an outsider's view, you'll see this account. You'll look at mutual servers, which they're in like almost every server I'm in, and if you click user info, scroll down, you'll see bruh and lol. The significance of the connections to those who are somewhat aware of how Discord works is really, really important. But other than that, now you're all set. You got your profile about me, your name, you're good. Number two, one of the biggest questions I get is, how do I know that server I'm in has a selfies channel? And I know some servers have a crazy amount of channels with a ton of people messaging every second. Safe to say that things are pretty hectic when joining big servers. That's why when joining servers, for example, this one, go to the top right hand corner, you'll see search and just type in selfies, enter. And as you can see, this server does not have a selfies channel. Now if I go to this server and go to the top right hand corner and type in selfies, and as you can see, there's a channel. Go to it, and there you go, whoa, you're in the selfies channel. And look, there's people who got cut. This photo I even know, I this is in one of my folders. And this person's in my Discord. So this whole looking at the top right for selfies channels just makes things a lot quicker when going through so many servers at a time just to post a single picture for like bait. So this just makes things quicker. Tip number three. Following the how do I know if that server has a selfies channel is where do you find servers? Well, I'm going to have to show you. What I like to do is join really big servers. And if you've done that before, 
you'll notice that you get at least like two to three bots associated with that server messaging you more servers. You can see where I'm going with this. As you can see, this is me six. As I join a whole bunch of servers, this was a long time ago, so all the invites are invalid now. But you can see that these are all the servers that they've uh, invited me to. So you just click on that, you join them, you probably get sent another one, and you just do it over and over again. Pair that up with finding selfies channels, and you're literally speed running selfies. Tip number four, use emojis to act vulnerable. And what I mean by that is use emojis when applicable. For example, here's a screenshot of my most used emojis. I know this might sound confusing on why and when you should use them. So here's an example of me using them appropriately. As you can see, the use of emojis can be very helpful in driving conversation because in my opinion, it puts visual emotion like the pleading face or the blushing face. It makes a person seem more willing and more connected to the situation if you understand what I mean. Looking at this hello with the blush emoji, it makes me want to respond. It makes me feel like there's like an actual human on the other side. And that's where I said shows emotion. That may just be me. This might just be all stupid, but use emojis to your advantage. Tip number five, pictures. In my original How to Get Nitro the Degenerate Way, I teased something called the e-girl folder. Well, I made that folder public to everyone in my Discord, and now those are probably the most used pictures for catfishing. Which also means more and more people are getting caught. That's why I thought of a new way to completely fly under the radar the odds of you getting caught are so slim if you use this method. All you have to do is find some random girl's Instagram who has anywhere between 5 to 10 subjective photos. And what I mean by subjective is that those photos can be applied to any conversation. For example, this picture. When sending any picture, you want to make it seem as real as possible. So this is what I do for this one. So before I send it, I say, typically anything along these lines, this seems a bit more manufactured because it is. Okay, I'll take a pic right now. I'm at school though. Let's say I'll say that. So, okay, I'll take a pic right now. I'm at school though. And then going back to the previous tip, use emojis to your advantage. The emojis on this account's terrible, so I'm just at the copy and paste it. Um, this one, rolling eyes, right? It kind of applies to the picture. So you send it here. So with the close-up of what I just did, this little lineup of, okay, I'll take the pic right now, I'm at school, mixed with an emoji, mixed with a picture that works really, really well, you can see in the background, there's curtains, it looks like they're in some type of uh, science lab, this works so well, and that is an example of what I mean by subjective photos. It connects the photo with the person typing, which is you, a girl, right? We're all girls. It makes it as real as possible. Now that I put you through an example, I heavily recommend you putting the images you use through reverse image search before using them. If you don't know how this site works, by the way, you just get any image that you plan on using, or if anyone sends you, just paste it in here, and it'll search for the image. This is how you can, like, solidify that it's not, like, a catfish, or at least it can still be a catfish, but it's super, super, like, low. You know, the chances are super low. Now, because people don't do this, they get called out. Prime example, in this Deja Vu server that I did my speed run in. People from the video watched it, they got into the server, and as you can see, people are getting called out for just being a catfish, because they're using Pinterest, something I did recommend, but I didn't touch on reverse image searching. I thought people knew about that, so my bad, but please, please reverse image search before you use them. I know this video is labeled five tips, but this is an honorable mention. It's not even an honorable mention. Please don't DM me asking for Nitro.
or if I can catfish for you. <laughs> One, I stopped catfishing. And two, I, I couldn't be asked to spend hours on hours baiting. People underestimate how long it can actually take to get Nitro. But anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, drop it a like. Uh, join my Discord server, link below. And hopefully this video cleared up a lot of things that just wasn't mentioned on my first Degenerate video way. Um, that video was rushed super quickly. I, I still thank you all for the support for that one. So hopefully this one clears things up. Peace.